So one thing that I don't see talked about too often in the cozy gaming genre is retro games that are actually super cozy. So here's my list of retro cozy games that you can play today on the Nintendo Switch. Pokemon Puzzle League is a game that holds a lot of nostalgia for me. This is a game that we used to go home after school every day and play for hours on end, avoiding our homework and all of our responsibilities and staying up way too late. And if you're unfamiliar with this game, it's a Tetris-like puzzle game where you can play in a two-player couch co-op. And it has both 2D and 3D boards, and it's decked out in Pokemon theming. However, this theming does not affect the gameplay at all. So like I said, we used to play this for hours on end after school, and I just remember like laughing so hard and getting so angry and just having so much fun playing this game. I remember my boyfriend at the time was like a Pokemon Puzzle League savant. He was so good at it and it became me and my best friends basically life's mission to beat him at this game and I don't think we ever did. But when I found out that it was coming to Nintendo Online I was absolutely ecstatic. I instantly had to show my husband this game and we played it and he's not really like a Tetris fan however he really does enjoy this game. He at first was thinking like I don't really like Pokemon I don't like Pokemon games. I was like trust me it has nothing to do with Pokemon it's just the theming. And now that he's played it, he understands what I'm talking about. It's super addicting and super fun. And it's so many hours of gameplay with all the different modes. And once you master the 2D puzzle, definitely switch over to the 3D puzzle board where it spins around. It adds so much more challenge to the game and it just really makes you think. So you can play this one on a Nintendo 64 if you're lucky enough to have one. However, it is available on the Nintendo 64 Virtual Console, available on the Switch Online Expansion Pack. If you're a fan of the Paper Mario series but you didn't start playing till later in the franchise, you're in luck because you can play the original Paper Mario on the N64 online expansion. And although this game came out in 2001, I didn't play it until around 2010 when it was released on the Wii Virtual Console. So as with all the Paper Mario games, this is considered a role-playing game. And this one takes place in Mushroom Kingdom where you must, and you guessed it, save Princess Peach from Bowser. Your task is to defeat Bowser's minions while you save all the star spirits. You'll You'll defeat bosses and solve puzzles in a turn-based battle system. If you're lucky enough to have an N64, you can play it there. However, if not, you can play it on the N64 Virtual Console on the online expansion pack for the Switch. If you're a fan of the Zelda series, and honestly, even if you aren't, please play Zelda A Link to the Past. This was the 1991 version of Zelda that was released on the SNES. And I would argue that this is the best Zelda game in the entire franchise. And yes, I'm including Breath of the Wild. In this game, you're going to perform spells, interact with NPCs for clues, you're going to defeat and conquer dungeons, and much more in this classic Zelda game. I think part of the reason I love this game so much might be the nostalgia. In 1991, a game like this was the pinnacle of gaming. The fact that this game had a really deep storyline and all of the NPCs had their own personalities and dialogue was absolutely mind-blowing to me. The entire universe just felt so alive in this game. And right now with retro pixelated games being so popular, I highly recommend going back and playing this game because this is the game that truly started it all. If you're lucky enough to have a Super Nintendo that actually works, first of all I'm super jealous of you. Secondly, you can play it on there. However, if your Super Nintendo doesn't work like mine, you can play it on the SNES Virtual Console with the Nintendo Online Membership. So this next one is a truly retro game with a modern twist, and the best part is it's free to play. I started playing this one after I got super addicted to Super Mario 35 and then Nintendo took the game from us. Why Nintendo? Why? I will never understand why you took that game away. It was so fun and me and my husband have so many memories playing it and honestly, why? Just why? <laughs> So after they took this game away, I was craving that like chaotic gameplay. So I found out about Pac-Man 99 and I downloaded it right away. Pac-Man 99, you play traditional Pac-Man while sending enemies to others while hoping to be the last man standing. This game definitely requires some patience during the initial learning curve when you're trying to figure out exactly what you're doing. I definitely recommend watching some YouTube videos that definitely explains the gameplay in a little more detail. But once you understand the game, it becomes super addicting. 
And if you end up loving this game, you can download some DLC to expand your experience. The DLC add-ons are about $1.99 a piece, and they'll give you more modes to enjoy this game. So even though this is not Super Mario 35 and never will be, it definitely fills the void that Super Mario 35 left us. And the best part is you can play this game for free. If you're a fan of retro gaming, I implore you to just explore the online expansion packs because there are so many gems on there, things that I've never heard of, things that I remember playing when I was young, and also things that I remember wanting to play but I never got to. Please leave comments below, let me know your favorite retro games, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification, and I'll see you guys in the next one.